All right, here we are. This is the long overdue and much anticipated video that all the subscribers that we have been asking for, <laughs> waiting for for months. Just kidding, not really. But this is the trailer overview video. So we'll walk you through it, everything inside and out so that you can see what we're living in from time to time as we travel through this beautiful state and our country. So again, three months ago, we purchased this trailer from a dealership in Murray, Utah. Shout out to Paris RV. Uh, they were great, great salespeople, great service people, and uh, they really helped us through the whole process. So this is our year 2021 model. This is a 2021 yeah. brand new. Hold on, Heart. Santa. Heart. Today, today <laughs> is January 12th. 2020, sorry, January 13th, 2021. All right, we're back. Sorry, kid interruption will probably happen three or four times in this video. Okay, this is our 2510BH from Heartland Wilderness, 25 foot cabin length of the coach, just under 30 feet for the hitch itself. Um, and it weighs at about 5,800 pounds dry. So with no water in it, no supplies, no add on anything, just around 5,800 pounds. Okay, so the trailer came with two, two filled 20 pound uh, light propane tanks here with a cover. It also came with two 12 volt, 12 volt deep cycle batteries installed, which is great. A lot of times when you purchase a rig from a dealership or um, a private party, it's probably only gonna come with a single battery. They gave us two, so not too bad. Starting at the front of the trailer, it does have a power tongue jack. This is great. If you can get a power tongue jack, it helps a lot in saving time on setup and uh, breakdown when um, you're setting up your campsite and, and leaving at the same uh, at, at the end. So the power down jack works great. What, they, what we bought with this system was an equalizing stabilizing hitch. So what this system does with these two stabilizer bars is they stabilize the, the trailer and the coach as we're driving down the highway um, and it levels out and equalizes the weight um, from the front of the trailer to the back. So it takes some of that additional weight that would be put onto the hitch and it pushes it forward onto the vehicle so that you get a nice even line between your tow vehicle and your trailer. It really helps out with safety measures when you're driving to have an equal level rig and, um, and tow vehicle when you're driving. So this hitch from E2 hitch can handle up to 10,000 pounds and we're a little over half of that with the weight of our rig. So. We're definitely um, in the zone there. Okay, so starting out, hey, look out, <laughs> nice gloves, buddy. Okay, hey, starting out in the front, we have a giant storage system. This is a pass-through storage. So um, bigger door up front and a smaller door on the side and the back. So we keep a, mostly all of our camping equipment in here that's going outdoors, chairs, additional table. You can see I got all of our blocks, chocks, extra wood and things like that. It's empty right now, um, but we fill it up usually before we go out. So what's great is with the Heartland Wilderness is it got slam doors. So what a slam door is, is you don't have to latch the door when you put it up. It just catches it with the magnetic closure right up top. That's on all the doors and um, it's a slam close. Also included um, on this model is a full full length from the end to the front 19 foot awning. This awning comes out really, really far. It's great for um, if you need some extra shade on hot days um, or of course to, to block the, block the rain. Do you want to turn it on or is it not? No, it doesn't take too long. Under, under the awning is a LED strip so we get some cool lighting Hi. outside. Hi. Um, we have a 110 volt outlet right here. You can plug in a television outside. Um, and, 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 plug, and plug in the TV. TV, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is the exhaust for the furnace. The TV. <laughs> this is the exhaust for the furnace. So what's great on, on, this, on this model is um, 
is these mole ride steps. These steps are awesome. They go all the way to the ground. Um, they can handle a few hundred pounds and um, they won't wobble the trailer. One thing that's really great also is that this model came with a wide, um, a wide stance two axle system. So when you're, when you're towing a, a, a trailer, how far apart and how wide your axles are will determine how stabilized your ride will be. Um, in the trailer industry years ago, the axles were a lot closer together and you'd have, you know, only, you know, a few inches, three, four, five, six inches in between your two axles. And that made your, your ride very wobbly and um, could be a safety issue. So they widened that stance and it came with alloy rims, which is great. This is our outdoor kitchen. So this model came with outdoor kitchen and a plumb sink. You don't see this a lot. Only on a few models you would actually see the sink plumbed into the main uh, gray tank um, that, that's under the trailer. A lot of times you'll see this is just in a tray. If, once it filled up with water, you gotta dump it out. Um, it did come with a little fridge, pull out tray to put your grill on. This model did come with a grill, but uh, we upgraded that. <laughs> okay, come around the back. Here's another storage compartment back here. I've got our hose and filter back here right now it's not very deep but it does go really high now i can reach my arm all the way up in there around the back this is a 30 amp uh power supply for um for your rigs this rig runs off 30 amp this is a cable inlet so if we are staying at an rv park that offers cable or satellite television we could plug into the system right there um here is our black tank flush and city water connection. And then in here, we have an outdoor shower to hose down the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the slide's out right now. This, the dinette, the, the, the full dinette is on a slide. Here's our city, here's our, um, our fresh tank connection. So if we're boondocking, which we'll probably do a lot of sites, uh, we'll be filling up the, the, the fresh tank here. This um, rig came with a 45 gallon fresh tank and it has a 40 gallon gray tank and a 40 gallon black tank. All right, let's go inside. So as we enter the trailer, immediately to the right, we have a closet. This is great for putting wardrobe for kids, extra supplies. Our dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes, kick them in here. Uh, just so you know, we are going to be painting the doors on this rig. So our closet's missing its door, our bathroom is missing its door, and then our bedroom is missing the door. We I just removed them yesterday. So um, so what normally there'd be a door here. Them? And hooks. That's the hooks are important. Yeah. Color are you? I don't you know. always we'll, get lots of hooks everywhere. And we'll figure it out. And this missing okay. the So right when you walk in, you have your closet to the right, lots of storage, and then bunks to the left. These are full-size bunks. So we could fit usually two kids per bunk on here. Um, and they right sleep here. pretty comfortable. And go putty right here? Yep. All right, let's go in the bathroom. <laughs> so this model comes with a full-size bathroom. You get a full standing shower. I can even stand up in here. Look it. My head doesn't even hit. And there's a little skylight in here. Ah. Uh, we'll probably replace this shower head after a little while because these shower heads aren't the greatest. Also, um, the toilet, eventually the goal is composting toilet, but for now we're sticking with the regular toilet. Uh, some storage up here. And a window in the bathroom. That's pretty unique. You don't see windows in, bathroom very often, in bathrooms very often in your rigs. Over here is um, the controls. So you can see a monitoring station. Battery, fresh tank is empty. Black tank, gray tank is all empty. Um, and controlling your water pump and your water heater is, is right here as well. All right, let's go into the main living area. So, this model did not come with a television. We added on with this one, but it did have the setup. The it. setup, yeah, the hookups were here. But it does, it did come with a stereo. This is Bluetooth, FM, AM radio, and this is a DVD player and CD player all in one. We got extra storage in here. Um, this is your control panel for all of your fuses and electrical box needs right here. All right, into the dining area. 
So the dining area from the dinette on the left side all the way over to the refrigerator is on the slide. So that control is over here along with the awning control. Uh, we do have an antenna for the television that's up here as well. That's on top of the rig and lighting controls. Uh, what's really neat with the this model is there's so much storage. It's incredible. Out of all the rigs we were looking with, the Heartland Wilderness had the most storage. So overhead storage up here in all these areas and underneath as well. You can get access from the front or if you lift up your cushions, you can get access from here as well. And it goes all the way back. Yep. So the dinette, like most other RVs and trailers, uh, can break down into a bed. So the dinette table pops off and you set it down and you slide the cushions and this is a full size bed is here. Um, so your kids can sleep there and it can actually fit a full size adult as well. All right. So into the kitchen, my favorite area of the RV. So really great size kitchen comes with a microwave. You have a fan and a hood here. Uh, it's a gas powered stove, of course. This flip top uh, stove cover is great because you could prep on here and you could cut if you put a cutting board down. Uh, it's just extra counter space because as uh, most trailers and RVs, you don't have a lot of counter space. Uh, here's your oven right here. We got our pots and pans in there and then storage underneath the sink. This is a double bowl sink. Came with these little covers and with an extending hose. That's nice. And then lots of storage up top. This goes really, really deep, which is nice. So we can get a lot of food up there if we go on an extended trip. And then there's two drawers here on this side, silverware and kitchen tools and whatnot. All right, the fridge. So this is a Dometic a two way fridge. This is like what's standard on a lot of trailers and RVs. So it's powered um, by propane as well as 12 volt. So while uh, you're driving and you can keep your, your fridge running off of your 12 volt battery. And then when you park and you're at your campsite, you can then switch it over to propane. So you're not draining your battery. Uh, this fridge is huge for a trailer. It's 10 cubic foot. Um, most standard, uh, refrigerators, in a lot of models are only around six cubic feet. So you get about 40% more, which is awesome because we eat a lot in our family. <laughs> All right, let's go over to this area. So this is our, thermostat and control station for air conditioning as well as a fan and a furnace and what's really neat with the Heartland Wilderness model is all of the furnace ventilation runs through the cabinetry of the rig so you don't have floor vents that you have to step over and put rugs on and things like that um, so that's really nice so that's all controlled from in here and now we enter the master bedroom where all the magic happens. So this model did come with a, a king bed actually, which uh, seemed to be a little bit too large for the space. So got rid of that. We got a memory foam uh, queen mattress. In the master bedroom, there's more storage. What do you know? Of course. So you've got clothing racks up here. You've got storage that goes pretty deep through the back and this wraps around behind this shelf area. You've got extra lighting up here that's kind of like ambiance lighting from the top. And there's a 110 uh, outlet up here as well as on each side of the bed. You've got um, USB chargers. So those are 12 volt. Those run off of the batteries. So again, if you're boondocking, you can still charge your phone off of your batteries. So coming over here, we do have a location where we could hang an additional TV in the master bedroom. Don't know if that will happen or not, but that's where that would happen. Storage and even more storage. Incredible. So I doubt we'll be able to use all of the storage in this rig. There is a skylight that is um, in the master bedroom, which is nice. So we can get some air through here. It, it didn't come with a fan though. That's one thing that I would have liked that I've seen on other models uh, is have a fan in the bedroom. Um, but this will do for now. 
of air conditioning vents throughout. This is uh, on a, um, a ducted system, so you should be able to get equal air conditioning ventilation throughout the rig. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. We love this trailer. We're so grateful to have it and excited and looking forward to the rest of the year and years to come of traveling uh, with this bunch. Are you guys excited? Do you love this trailer? Are you excited to take a bunch of trips? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And go camping? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, it'll be fun. Who pooped in the park? <laughs> nice.